There comes a point in any project where you begin to question your own sanity. Uh, that happened. That happened right now. Um, 24 Live is 24 days. Today's library, Python library, is a library called How Do I. When you install this via pip, it will actually install it as a command line function, which is a really cool feature. Not all libraries do that, some do. Uh, but it is also a library. And if you look at the home page of it, it actually only tells you how to do it from the command line. But you can do it from the um, function as well. So what we're going to do today is use How Do I. How Do I lets you unlock the secrets of the universe. Like Wikipedia a few days ago, How Do I ties into Stack Overflow, but it also ties into um, other overflows in that group. So you can tie into uh, astronomy, you know, cooking, parenting, D&D, you know, world, world builders. That's quite a nice one I like. Um, so what you do is you do how do I dot how do I. Um, how do I. Now, I just want to point out, because actually this is a module inside of the how do I, so the actual thing is how do I dot how do I dot how do I. It makes you question other people's sanity. Is, is that's what I'm saying, right? How do I, and then the font query you want to do here. So I want to do for loop in Python. Spell it correctly, you'll get better answers. So you run that, and it gives you the answer. Now, do not put that into a vow. Okay, don't, don't, don't do that. Right, uh, how do I restart Docker? thinking about it it's thinking about it really hard uh, what the library is actually doing is think is also parsing the response results as well uh, obviously not every query is going to come back with a good answer um, there you go dash r equals true uh, also not every answer is going to be meaningful as we've just thrown there um, but yeah if you put in coding questions in here such as in such as um, um, uh, change a pixel in pi game see if it comes back with it there you go it comes back with the answers pretty fast um i'm not convinced it says oh this is a better way of searching stack overflow for answers again if you're going to use this in like a discord bot or on a website it's a funky thing just be really aware that obviously this content doesn't belong to the library it belongs to the website and how many queries a second you're making all the rest of it um i'm not convinced this is the world's best thing it is interesting. It is one of those little fun ones. It lets you see what libraries can do. What's really interesting, I think, is if you actually look at how the libraries put together and how they're supporting it. It's got quite a lot of developers on it. It's got 9,000 stars. You wait till it gets to the 24th of the library you've got. It hasn't got 9,000 stars. So I think it's sometimes harsh to say, oh, this is a rubbish library. It's an interesting library. It has its uh, quirks. It could definitely be used. Like you see magic eight ball bots, things like that. You can see it's, it's been there. You can also see it tying in with NLP programming and things like that. Um, I can see people using this and it being of interest uh, for for AI interactive things. Um, automation agents, those kinds of things. Uh, but I would be very aware that you can't necessarily know what the answer you actually put in because it's crowdsourcing your answers, whether the answer you put in is actually the, the one you want. Uh, I found this library on, on a website called 10 Interesting Modules in Python to Play With. I will leave it up to you guys whether you think this is interesting, fun, or whatever. It's a thing, that's for sure. I stumbled across on the internet one day. Um, I think some of the other libraries are ones I prefer in this series. Anyway, uh, we're very near the end now. We have got just two more days to go. Um, and we're going to end on, on a, a library which I'm personally um, very, very um, attached to. Um, but yeah. If you're enjoying these, then please hit like, please subscribe, and you'll see some things appearing on the other side of the screen right now, which you can click on to see more in these series and other videos. So thank you very much, and I will see you soon.